Okay, so this cup, I glittered them side by side, and I honestly cannot remember if I have a separate piece of video for this one. I think I do, but just in case I don't, I sanded this, painted it white, mixed in some of my girl's best friend cheat diamond dust from It's Pretty Personal, and coated the cup. And here we are, ready to move on. So, this is going to be a... Um, a collage type cup and it's going to be a water slide collage. I printed it on the Hippo brand um, clear inkjet water slide and it is a compilation of I think I did 20 album covers. I am going to reserve one for the bottom I believe. Um, I don't know which one yet but I made you jewel in pieces or pieces of you just because it's got a lot of white so I think that'll work well for the bottom so other than that I am just going to randomly take a few and drop them in the water slide or in the water and get my cup wet and start applying them just in random however fashion so, as they start to release, I'm just going to start sliding them. And I did not mirror these. I left them standard. So, um, if I didn't record the part where I prepped this cup, because I did two at the same time, and I can't remember if I separately recorded them or if I recorded them as one. That happens sometimes. Um, if I didn't, if you go to the 80s wrap part 2, you can see me do it there also. Because that was the other cup I did at the same time as this one. So these are clear. The glitter is going to sparkle through. And they're going to overlap and kind of show through each other. And just be kind of neat in general. So... I didn't measure or pre-plan. I could have pre-planned this out on my program and printed it as a full wrap, but I wanted to be able to manipulate them independently and work with them as I please. And because they are water slides, they're going to be um, a little different to manipulate than the vinyl one I'm doing because I am doing a vinyl wrap one of these at the same time because that one is a black cup and the water slide wasn't going to work. Clear water slide would have worked but not what I used in this instance. So... I'm going to grab a quick piece of parchment paper. Just because I am going to be moving this around on here. I'm not going to let any of this dry separately. It's just going to dry all as one. So... did curl over on itself a tiny bit there my fault for the way I picked it up from the water This has been a really fun project, I think, for myself and the one it's going to. Um, just brings back a lot of memories.
And I'm going to make sure these are all completely smooth <clears throat> and squeegee any water out in just a little bit. Not just yet. And there may be too many of these to quite fit on this cup. So that's why I'm not really looking at what I'm using. I'm just kind of grabbing because I don't really want to have to make the decision on who doesn't make the cut. It's going to be up to the fate. Oops. That's why I put that paper down to try and help that a little bit. This is kind of a lot to do at one time. I mean, you could certainly let some dry, move on to the next. But... I like to challenge myself. And the water slide is nice because, like, to close that gap, I can still move it. I could have done white water slide on the black cup, but I didn't really want to have to seal it, so that was why I went with the vinyl. So these are the last ones for around. Stick jewel to the bottom. I'm going to pick this up a minute and try and. Well, no, I'm not, because I might not need to really take up all that space. on that cover. All right. Getting there. Let's stick Nirvana in here, this iconic cover, which, gotta say, looks pretty awesome with glitter. I'm just looking at it. I'd really like to be able to get this last one in here. So I'm just going to see which ones I can still shift. I better hold it by the handle. With the vinyl one I did, like once they were down, they were down. That was it. There was no going back. Um, so I'm kind of loving the flexibility of the water slide here. I think that ought to open me up enough room to slide her in here. Can you hear my doggy behind me? He's having a bad dream. Nope. 
No, I got to slide that under the other one. I'm definitely putting this water slide through its paces. I folded that under a tiny bit, but honestly, because of the way it's going to land, it does not matter. All right, so I thought I had a paper towel somewhere. Found it. I'm just going to start blotting it off. The drier they get, the less they'll slide, obviously. And if I have any that are wrinkly, I'm going to get my little makeup silicone brush spatula dealy and brush the wrinkles out. I'm going to see if I can get that little corner unfolded in just a second. I know, I'm off frame. Don't yell at me. I used to have this, like, set up perfect where I knew exactly where in frame was, and now I'm like all messed up these days. Okay, so I'm going to try and get this corner unfolded somehow, carefully. And then I'm going to get the last one on the very bottom. And oop, I ripped it because I tried to fold it the wrong direction. That was 100% my fault, not the paper's fault. I'm not even going to try and unfold that. I'm just going to let that ride. And I'm going to keep glancing around the cup. And make sure I'm satisfied with everything. Okay, so everything looks good. It's fairly dry, padded anyways. No big bubbles or anything. So I'm going to take this, oops, spoke too soon. Um, I'm going to take this last one and get it ready. Get the bottom a little damp. And get that on there. I know, this has been not the most exciting, but there's been a lot of collage cups going around. Um, not necessarily done this way. A lot of them are, in fact, full wraps that just appear to be individual elements. A lot of them are actually sublimation, but this was my way of making what they wanted work. So I'm just going to one-handed water slide, sure. Just knock that Nirvana one again. All right, so I'm gonna pat her down, and then I'm gonna fix this guy again. Baby just wants to keep swimming. All right, so I got Jewel on the bottom, and I'm going to let this sit on my drying rack for a bit before I come in with the resin, so. But there it is. Let me grab the uh, black one. Pretty cool, two different techniques, but I really like it both ways. So, I'll be back for resin. Okay, time to get some resin on here. My resin is mixed. I just have to get my turner turning. And the cord for this one is, I don't even know where right now there. Alright, let's 
it's just going to get a normal coat. careful just in case. I don't want to mess up any of this really hard work. I think this cup looks pretty darn cool. bubbly spot I had and I think I just ripped the corner. I'm going to watch that come around. I did. So I'm going to slide that back in. I probably won't slide on the resin being that this is such a light coat. That's my own fault. I was not being delicate. And it's just the way the day is going. So, <laughs> I guess with 20 pieces of water slide. Oh, I know why. It's because there was a bubble in there that I tried to push out after it was stuck down. That's exactly where that little bubble was. So, yeah. That was me. I knew that it had a hole there. So, that is it for this one. I will bring you down for the close-up in just a little bit. Okay, I know you can see both of these cups. This is not about the black one on the right. This is about the white one on the left. Here it is. It's pretty good. There might be a couple little bubbly spots. They always look worse on camera. Um, there's that little piece I tore. We're just going to roll with it. Overall, I think this worked out really cool. And I love it over the glitter. Absolutely love it. So, that is that. There's the full thing. And while you're looking at the full thing, you get a little side-by-side -side of a black base versus a white base printable vinyl versus water slide. That is it. Thanks for watching.